If you're looking for the best solar panels for your home, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Sinue with DroneQuote. In this video series, I will cover why the best solar panel does not matter. I know that's coming on a bit strong, but if your money lives better in your wallet than in someone else's, please take a seat and hear me out. The claim of best solar panel gets thrown around quite a bit and also changes as technology evolves. So allow me to start by adding some definitions to the phrase. Typically, when somebody refers to the best solar panel, they are referring to the make, wattage, efficiency, and warranties. By the standards of when this was recorded, solar panels broke into the best category when efficiency exceeds 22% and wattage is at least 400 watts per panel. The warranty aspect qualifies best if after 25 years, the panel output is at least 90% of original capacity. These are all great numbers. They're very shiny and attract attention, but they don't matter. Wait, wait, before you skip, you agreed your money is better housed in your wallet, and as such, you'd hear me out. So you're almost agreeably obligated to let me make my case. Ladies and gentlemen, Exhibit A. Sullivan Solar Power used to be a renowned company in Southern California. They used to install Kyocera panels, which at one point were touted as the best. They used to install LG panels, which were also touted as the best. And they used to install sun power, which some people think are still the best solar panels. Well, guess what? Kyocera and LG stopped manufacturing solar panels and Sullivan Solar Power went out of business. Tell me what good does it do to install the best solar panel if you now gotta jump through hoops to get service done should you need it? If you're still not convinced, that's okay. I wouldn't be either. I'd have more questions than the previous example answers. So here's another one. A homeowner installs the best solar panel along with its premium price because he or she liked the 92% output at year 25. First, I can count on two fingers the number of people who I know lived in the same home for 25 years. And I know at least seven people. Second, a solar installer's production guarantee typically offers them a 10% buffer before they're actually on the hook for service. Let's say one of the panels starts to have an issue and underperforms, but your total system output falls within that 10% buffer. In that case, the installer may tell you they are still meeting electricity output estimates and that a technician won't be deployed. If you find yourself in that position, what good did it do you to buy the best solar panel if your contractor has an out. And finally, here's my favorite example because it gets into the dollars and cents and if solar's going to save you dollars, it's gotta make sense. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. Now say your target is to produce 11,000 kilowatt hours and you have a large and unobstructed roof. And as a bonus, it's on the part of the house you wouldn't see from the street. Here we have the Q-Cell panel rated at 400 watts with up to 20.4% efficiency, 25 years warranty on parts and performance, and an 86% guaranteed power output at year 25. And on the right, we have a sun power panel rated at 430 watts, up to 22.3% efficiency, and 25 years on parts and performance. At the end of 25 years, it'll also produce 92% of its original output. When we put the two against one another in the simulator, the sun power system, although smaller in kilowatt size, produces 300 kilowatt hours more per year, coming in at 11,300 kilowatt hours, compared to the Q-cell system, making 11,000 kilowatt hours per year and needing two more panels to come close to the sun power system. If we look at this table and compare the same panels, system size, degradation rates, and so on, at the end of 25 years, the sun power system lost only 8%, while the Q-cell system lost 14%. In 25 years, this translates to a loss of 12,900 kilowatt hours for sun power and 19,600 for Q-cell. 
SunPower claims 60% more energy over 25 years, and by my calculation, this is in fact 65% more power than the Qcell option. Sign me up, son. I want the SunPower Solars, baby. But wait, as my man Sean T would say, dig deeper, because all that pizzazz comes at a cost. These two comparable systems can have a real world spread of seven to $12,000. Yes, you heard me right. The sun power system can be an eye-watering seven to $12,000 more expensive than a comparable Q-cell system. You could add two more panels to the Q-cell system to make up the losses over the course of 25 years and still come out ahead by about four to $9,000. Plus, if you did that, you'd get more power today when you want it. What if you agree with my logic? Then you may ask yourself, if the best solar panel doesn't matter, what does? That's coming up in our next video. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to find out what really matters when you're going solar. Until next time, hasta la vista, baby.